Hey there my awesome peeps and welcome back to another Fortnite video where today I am going to show you how to make a water puddle in UEFN. It's kind of cool, it's a decal and I hope you guys enjoy it so I'm going to delete what I got here and we will get started. Alright so the first thing you're going to need is some stuff from online so we're going to open our web browser and go to this website here. I'll have all the links in the description. This is completely free to make, you don't need to pay for Photoshop or anything like that. Um, we're gonna go to CAD Hatch. Lots of seamless textures there. I'm not a big fan of all of them, but I do like this water one. So I'm going with this water here. So just download that. Then we're gonna go to Photo P. We're gonna open a new project. I did to use the Twitter profile to make my puddles. So we're gonna create. We're gonna grab our lasso tool and try to stay as center possible here and make our puddle shape. Right click. Modify, Feather, 20 pixels, and then hit this um, raster mask, and that's, that's it. You're done with that. It's just going to export, export as a PNG, Puddle, Teach. Yeah, I spelled Puddle wrong. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Save that. And then all we got to do is we're going to go ahead and open a new folder inside our content. Let's call it a little. Now you got that open that folder up and we're going to open our folder here. And we're going to drag our texture and our puddle drawn that we did into here. Then we're going to right click, make a new material. Name it M underscore pedal. And let's open that up. And here we go. I don't know all the fancy terms for everything I'm doing. I just kind of figured this out. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So. Pardon me. We're going to first start off by drawing this line out and adding a vector parameter. We're going to call it color. And the color I like to use is leaving it right in the center and just raising this up. Let's add about right there. Should be good. So we got our color. And then we're going to take these two, drag them up in there. And before we do anything else, let's click back on this node here. We're going to make this a deferred decal and translucent. Then we're going to take our puddle that we drew, grab the A, and connect that to opacity. And if we apply that and bring this out, we have a general shape for our puddle. Obviously, it doesn't look a puddle yet, but we'll get there. Then we're going to take our normal texture here, the water texture we grabbed and attach it to normal. Apply that. You can see we're starting to get a puddle. It's not looking pretty right now, but we're going to fix that. Let's move some stuff out of the way. I'm going to move this guy all the way up here. Move you down here a little bit. Move you down here a little bit. Didn't want both of you. There we go. Alright, so let's fix what our puddle is looking like here. So let's bring this over. Add a constant, make it a parameter so we can call it metallic. I spelled that wrong. Gosh, my name. All right. And I usually set this to 0.01. You're free, of course, to play with that and make it however you feel it should be to make yours look the way you want. Another constant parameter. I'm going to call this specular and I'm going to set that to 0.9 move that over here and then we're going to add some roughness parameter and I'm going to leave that right where the number is let's apply and see what it's starting to look like we have some shine to it. We have like a water texture going on here. But we still got to do some work with the ripples there. So, what we're going to do to do that, we're actually going to break this link here. <clears throat> we're going to add one called material function call. And then we're going to go over here. We're going to type in flatten and we're going to use the flatten normal function. And then we're going to add, if you click and press 1 and hold it for a second, 
you get your constant faster. Call it flat. This. I'd like to put this in on 0.8. Connect that up. Connect that. Put it in normal. Apply. Pixie, it's looking a little better. But I also want this to move. So we're going to do a little bit more here. We're actually going to go ahead and break this node real quick. Or this link, rather. Break this one. <clears throat> we are going to duplicate that. And let's go over this way a little bit. And we are going to add a texture coordinate to connect and make the water move. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to bring one up here. Add a multiply. Bring the one down here. Add another. Multiply. Um, and you would have to mess. You can mess with this a little bit to get it the way you want. I'd like to put it on point two, and this one on point three. And we're gonna bring one this way and connect it to what's called a panner. And same thing here. All right. Then we're just connect you to you and you to you. <coughs> then we're gonna do an add here to bring these two together. So I'm just gonna move you guys over just a tad. Just move you over just a tad. Let's add these to here. This to here. This to here. And finally, normal. We hit apply. And we have more of a better looking water here. But we still don't have it moving yet. So back into our puddle texture. We are going to add... Well, there it is. Make a parameter. We're going to call this speed. And it's just going to make the water move. So... Let's start off with point one. We're going to connect it to a multiply. And then connect that to speed here. And we're going to connect this one to speed here. We're going to hit apply. And you can see it's moving very, very fast, which obviously we don't want it to move quite so fast. So let's take this to negative one. And let's change our speed to 0 0.01. And see, wow, that changed it. You can see they're going in different directions and it's not going as fast. Let's take it down to another, let's add another zero in there. Apply it. And there we have very, very slow. Wait, are you not moving? <laughs> Very slow. <laughs> so slow, I couldn't tell. Um, we can fix that a little bit by going to change this maybe to point five. Apply. Now we have a bit more. And you're you gotta move you gotta play with that based on your project. How fast you want it to move, how fast you don't want it to move. But let's say you wanna see through the water more. Easy fix. We're gonna break break this link. We're going to uh, put in a multiply. Whoops, I let go of it. We're gonna put in a multiply, and we're gonna put in our, and we're gonna change this to point eight. Apply, and now you see through it more. You're for, like I said, play with that, play with that number a bit to get it where you want. Play the speed to get where you want. Maybe you have a windy situation on your map, and you want that water to move just a bit faster than it's doing. But this way, you have it here. So that's basically our puddle. We're still not quite done because if I put this over by my drift friend there, you can see the water grabs his legs there. It's connecting to him, which we don't want to happen. Quick fix, put this on 0 0.01, very thin layer, and it will no longer grab his legs and attach to him. And that's it. You have water. As you can see, it's reflective. We see drift in the water there. Again, like I said, quick, easy, completely free. There's the, there's the layout for it now. You can see right there on the screen. It's a little messy, but like I said, it was just for a tutorial. 
So guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure to drop a like. If you have some quicker suggestions to make this happen, leave them in the comments below. I'll have all the links to those two websites for you so you can get to those easy. And if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Um, as for me, I'm going to call this video done. I will see you on the next one. Bye!